and welcome back to Travel Health Central. My name is Virginia and I'm a travel health pharmacist. My goal is to help you have a happy, healthy holiday. In this video, we're going to be talking about rabies, what it is and where it is in the world. So what is rabies? Rabies is a virus and it's found in the saliva of animals all over the world. These animals include cats, dogs, bats, raccoons, skunks and foxes. If an animal bites you and their saliva gets into your blood, that animal might have infected you with the rabies virus. Rabies causes 60,000 deaths per year and 99% of cases are caused by dog bites. Because the rabies is in saliva, animals that eat with their hands could have saliva on their claws or nails. If they scratch you, then the saliva from their claws and nails can get under your skin and into your blood. Another way the saliva can get into your blood is if an animal licks an open wound. That means their saliva can go through the open cut on your skin and into your bloodstream. That's why it's generally a good idea to wear plasters over wounds or wear long sleeve clothing to try and protect any skin that might be vulnerable to licks. If you want more information about how to protect yourself from rabies while on holiday, check out my video here. Although it might be rare, some animals can spit in your face and their saliva can get in through your mouth, your nose and your eyes. Rabies can also be passed by animals biting each other. This can also happen across species. For example, a bat can bite a dog and then that dog can go and bite other dogs and infect them with rabies. And then those dogs are likely to bite humans. That's why it's so important to try and protect yourself from rabies as much as possible. Because it's in the wild and animals can pass it between each other, it's really difficult to eliminate it from the wild. Now you know that rabies is carried in an animal's saliva, but how does it infect you? The rabies virus uses your nervous system as a superhighway to try and get to your brain. It is known as a traveling virus. Our nerves all branch from the central nervous system. It's made up of your spinal cord and your brain. When the rabies virus gets into your blood, it will find a way to a nerve and then it will travel along that nerve to try and get to the spinal cord and ultimately in your brain. Once it gets to the brain, your brain will start to swell because it will cause massive inflammation. This inflammation is known as encephalitis and it's almost 100% fatal. At the late stage of rabies, where it's got to your brain, you will start to get symptoms of rabies. The rabies virus will start to shed in the saliva, so you will start drooling and producing a lot of saliva. You start to become aggressive, and in animals, this is seen as the animals wanting to bite each other to spread the disease. So how long does it take for rabies to show up? Well, it depends on where you've been bitten. Getting a bite on your toe means that the rabies virus has a long way to travel before it reaches your spinal cord and ultimately your brain. So getting a bite on your toe means that you've got slightly more time than someone who's been bitten on their shoulder, for example, or on their face for getting treatment and surviving. However, each bite should be treated with the utmost emergency. The time between the rabies virus entering your body and actually causing symptoms is called the incubation period. During this time, the virus can store itself inside the saliva, which is why you can't tell if an animal has rabies or not. This means even a normal looking dog can have rabies and bite you and infect you. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>